Ah, uh, what a great day in the new snapshot. We got some great additions this week. Just want to take a look around the world. Wait, what happened? What's happening? Just sunk through the block. What is going on? That, guys, is, of course, the brand new Powdered Snow block that was just released in the second snapshot of the cave update. I'm very excited to show you guys how this block works. I've already actually developed a fully automatic farm for it that I'm also pretty happy with and excited to show you. So other than that, let's get right into it. Since the snapshots are all new information, I think it's safe to say that we probably should go over some of the features of this block as well as some of the potential uses. So the main thing is that entities can fall through this block. So items, uh, players, if we were to stand on this, as you can see, we fall through. As we did in the lava, this also includes things like mobs. We'll fall through it as well. We are on peaceful mode, that would help. So if we spawn the creeper, as you can see, it does phase through the block just like so. This can have a couple implications. There is a mob farm use that I'll be showing you guys in a future video since mobs can actually spawn in this. And it does damage to them, which we'll get into in just one second. But you can use it for player traps. It kind of blends into the atmosphere. You can't really place snow layers on it, but it's almost identical to snow blocks. So it's pretty easy for a player to fall through and then, you know, you can have them fall into some kind of trap or something like that. But it also should just prove to be a nice aesthetic block for the brand new mountains and all the builds to come. Alright, the main last feature that's very, very interesting is, of course, the freezing tendency. So if we pop into survival mode and we just sit around for just a little while, as you can see, we're getting this blue in the corner of the screens. I've never actually done this before. And eventually, we'll actually start taking damage any second now. We should start taking damage. Yes, there we go. So we've started taking damage, and that actually is the main use of this stuff. If we set the time to night and we're up in the sky and I create a click platform, as you guys can see, a skeleton just spawned, as you just saw. We just have andesite and some powdered snow. And what will actually happen is mobs will spawn in this stuff still. So they'll spawn within the snow. We'll actually see they start to take damage. So this is very, very similar to the Wither Roses where mobs used to be able to spawn in them and then immediately die from damage. So this could serve as a brand new type of mob farm. I'm not really sure how fast they would be, but they'd be really easy to build because you just have platforms with the powdered snow. And then, of course, you just have, you know, you have like a minecart rail underneath collecting all the drops. So it'd be very, very simple to accomplish. And I might be releasing a farm about this stuff pretty soon. But before we talk about this type of farm, let's first discuss the farm I have way down there. In order to farm this stuff, we actually use the one principal feature that makes this renewable, and that's the fact that snow, powdered snow, can accumulate in cauldrons once it starts snowing. And I'll actually demonstrate this for you guys right over on this very, very large platform over here. So if we set the weather to rain or snowy, we'll actually start to see is that this will start to populate. So we should see some white spots pop up uh, any second now. Yeah, we saw one down there just popped, uh, one right there, they're all going all over the place. So this is how it accumulates. As you can see, it is rather slow. We have 2,500 cauldrons right there, and we only got a couple. So this is really slow. You'll have to do this farm on a much larger scale in order to get any decent rates, but I just created a small mock-up to kind of show you how a farm would have to work. Unfortunately, you can't interact with the spencer or cauldrons with dispensers yet, so we have to use just standard minecart uh, and rails for a player to be shuffled around, right-clicking on the cauldrons, going back and forth, back and forth, and getting buckets periodically refilled with a station right here. First, let's just get into how it works, and I'll talk about how to build it as well as how to expand the farm to actually produce reasonable rates. So to operate the farm, first off, we're going to put ourselves into survival mode, and then we're just going to get into a minecart, and we want to make sure our inventory is completely full, except for one slot. Uh, we could also put food in our offhand, just in case of starvation. And essentially what we're going to do is we're just going to send this minecart on a loop. And we'll eventually we'll get some buckets, and we just want to aim the right-click button, so we're clicking on the cauldrons, uh, not the flower pots. And this will essentially allow us to click through the minecart and pick up any powdered snow that's there. Unfortunately, we don't have any, so let me add some manually. And as you can see, as we go around, we'll actually start picking them up. As you can see, we do miss some of them, but that's not really to worry. Uh, it's not like these are going to grow or fill super, super fast. So we'll actually just get them on the next time around. So as you can see, we'll go around the circle, and then we picked up those, which we did not pick up the last time. Uh, we'll pick up that one, which we didn't pick up the last time. And that's essentially how that whole system works. So in order to collect the powdered snow buckets, 
we actually have a minecart hopper running underneath the farm, which should pick them all up, as we should see shortly. And yeah, this guy will run around, pick up all the cauldrons and these guys full of powdered snow, and yeah, it should work great. And what do you know, I actually just fixed a potential issue of the farm. You don't need the flower pots there, that was a fix for an issue I realized didn't matter after the fact. Essentially, if you ran out of buckets, you'd be able to just continuously place and unplace the powdered snow, but you should always have at least one bucket in your inventory, otherwise the farm's gonna stop functioning. So, yeah, it's not too big of a deal to remove those flower pots. Basically, the items that landed on top weren't getting picked up by the minecart hopper underneath. Nevertheless, bugs in the farm aside, yeah, that's how this thing works. You just go round and round and round, right-clicking of some buckets that picked up the powdered snow. So, this is very, very self-explanatory to build. I will show you how to build this system right here, but honestly, I'll include a world down in the description, and this system is, yeah, it's literally just have a minecart going back and forth underneath. Very, very simple drop-off system right there, and then it's just cauldron, minecart rail, cauldron, minecart rail. So, it's really nothing to worry about. But let's get into a tutorial for this thing right here. All right, to build the little bucket dispensing system, let's first get started with the rail placement. So this is where your rails are gonna get spit out. So this will all be powered uh, via the center of the farm, just like so. And then what you're actually gonna do, and I need to grab a couple of hoppers right here, is you're gonna place a hopper just like so, right here and right here, uh, and a little bit of a three by three, just like that. And you wanna place a couple more rails right here. This one can be unpowered. Then what you want to do is place a detector rail right here. Then you can actually have a redstone block, and this is where you can kind of churn in. So you could come in from the back or churn in from either side, just like so. This farm has it churn in from the side, but depending on your farm, you might have to have multiple of these, so it might just come in straight from the back. Up to you. Anyways, now let's get into the bit of the redstone logic that dispense a few buckets to you every single time. The first thing you gotta do is actually rearrange that hopper right here. So you're actually just gonna put that into a dropper facing up. And the key thing is, is you're coming in this way. So you wanna do this on the right side since you'll be clicking over on this side. Otherwise you'll click into the droppers and that'll actually end up breaking the farm. So you wanna make sure you're clicking this way uh, and the other, all the redstone is occurring on this side right here. So next thing you wanna do is place one more dropper up and then place another one just facing right there then place a powered rail just like so. Next thing you want to do is just place a few blocks just like that to prevent any items from being spat out. And go ahead and place a couple more blocks right there that I missed in the prior clip. Next thing, just repeater on one tick coming out of the detector rail just like so. Then you want to go ahead and place a redstone or just a normal block right here with a piece of redstone dust on it just like that. And then make this little pattern right here, comparator, and then two more pieces of redstone dust. And then the next thing you wanna do is just put a piece of, a, a repeater right here into, or other side, put a repeater right here, which will go into a full block, just like this, and this will extend out this way. All right, then just place a redstone dust in the fourth block right there. Then a sticky piston facing down. There should be one block over from the dropper for reference, and then place a block on its face, just like that. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna come down here and place a block uh, adjacent to the dropper, just like so, of a piece of redstone dust on top. Then what you wanna do is grab an observer, which unfortunately, I was not prepared because I'm not good at giving tutorials, and place one just right here, like so. And that should be observing upwards. Next thing you wanna do is place an observer observing downwards adjacent to that one, just like this. Place a redstone dust on top of the dropper with a block on top of the observer. And then finally, all you need now is a sticky piston that'll push this observer in here once it's activated by a minecart, which essentially will just create a clock that fires these droppers and gives the player buckets. All right, you're essentially done. Just fill in some of the gaps. So make sure this block's filled in. You can fill in a couple more next to the droppers if you want. And this is actually good to go. So if we give this thing a quick test, uh, we can just give it really any kind of block at this point. Let's give it, you know, some observers, and we send a minecart through this thing. What we'll see is that, you know, all these redstone components I put in there are fired out. And since they're not actually picked up by the minecart, they'll just funnel back into here perfectly. 
and be ready to be sent up and spit up to the good old uh, system we got going on right here. So final notes, you could put a hopper right here. Uh, however, I've never had a bucket land there. It probably will happen eventually, but it's really not nothing to worry about. You also can add extra storage to these systems, so you can remove this block right here and just add a hopper with a chest on top, similar to what we have over here, since you definitely want to have lots of buckets stored up in this farm. Uh, you, know, you could just continue it by doing something just a little bit like that. And another couple notes is, obviously this farm is extraordinarily small. This probably produces maybe a couple powdered snow an hour, to be honest. This stuff really, really accumulates extraordinarily slow. So you'll want a system that really is as big as that, that uses, you know, hundreds upon hundreds of cauldrons, so you can get much more of this stuff and much faster, just because it accumulates slowly while it's snowing, and then it doesn't snow that often to begin with. Uh, for reference, I AFK'd this thing for a couple hours, uh, just like watching the snow accumulate, and I really only got a couple powdered snow out of that time with the farm of this size. So definitely, definitely, definitely build a larger farm. Uh, hopefully they increase the speed or add a little bit of an easier way to farm this stuff. I hope they make it uh, so dispensers can actually pull a bucket of powdered snow out of the cauldron. That'll open up the door to some other farms. Uh, but before then, we'll just have to go really, really big uh, with AFK farms if we need a lot of this stuff. Otherwise, to be honest, building a huge platform or cauldrons and then just letting it accumulate might be the easier option. But only time will tell with that. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a sub and a like. I'd really, really appreciate it. I'm trying to hit a thousand subs in the next couple of months, and yeah, you guys can help me get there. In terms of content-wise, I will be releasing farms, particularly pertaining to the 1.17 update, from here until the update drops, and probably sometime after it. So drop a comment down below of what farm you want to see next, and as I said, sub if you don't want to miss it. I already released a very, very simple crystal farm, and I got plans for a shulker farm, a much better crystal farm that's more complicated but more efficient, as well as, hopefully, some new farms as more mechanics are dropped. But before then, I'll have to see you guys later. Have an easygoing day. Bye-bye.